what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back let's go i am ready today i'm feeling very good today i mean i'm in an extremely good mood girl is happy girl is doing way way better today is a good day hello plus we're about to find out what's going on with rick as i said i don't believe rick is going to die I don't think so <laughs> but at the same time he is in serious trouble he got impaled um he got impaled man and i saw it as soon as he fell off the horse uh, you could kind of tell from the angle of how he fell and the things that were sticking up from whatever it is the piece of slab that he that he fell on you could tell that he got impaled because he couldn't move you get what I'm saying? He couldn't move. Because um, at first I was thinking maybe he like hurt his back or broke his back or something. But um, the fact that he was trying to move and couldn't move. And then I saw the little piece of steel um, sticking up and I was like, ah, oh, shit. He got impaled. My God. But um, my theory is that Maggie seeing his axe... Um, from a scene that they were passing, she and Big Booty Girl, um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They passed, they saw Rick ass because he left his axe behind, right? He left his axe behind from before. I think it was before. No, nah, it wasn't before. It was after, right? It was, it was after he fell in the hole with Daryl, right? When he came back up and he must have forgot the axe. Or, uh, I don't even remember when he, he left the axe behind. I don't remember when, but that is his axe sticking out from the, 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 the walker, right? So, yeah. Uh, hopefully, Maggie ends up seeing him. Um, that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I hope for um, what happens. Right now, the other storylines can wait. That's oh, I, Rick just needs to be okay. He just needs to be okay. Um, you know, every season they want to kill a main character, but I don't know what's going to happen this season. You know, I, I want to sneeze, but I'm holding it until I finish this intro. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys for the review. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I couldn't hold it. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't hold it, guys. I couldn't hold it. Sorry. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> I tried to hold it, man, until I finished. Oh, my God. I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, See you guys for the review. <laughs> well... Didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay, so there's been a, a time skip. Um, as I said, I don't mind time skips. Just do it right. You know, it bugs me when I don't know how many amount of years. But you can kind of gauge it based on Judith's age before and Judith's age now. Um, you can kind of gauge how many years it's been. It looks like it's been... Uh, I'm gonna give it a try here maybe three years I don't, know. I don't know I don't know it could be more than that it should be more than that because Judith looked like she's about she was probably six now she looks like around 10 so I want to gauge it I don't know how long you guys are gonna tell me in the comment section anywho how long was the time skip cuz I'm pretty sure they probably put it out but I like when they do it in the show and let you know but it, it's, it was a great way to do it it was a, a way that i've seen other shows have done it before as in showing you a character that you least expect to see as an older person uh, like you know to represent that time skip so um rick is not dead we know this right i don't know when he's gonna come back but he's with Jada. So I don't know what episode they're going to choose to show us what's going on with Rick. But my question is, if Rick is alive, why hasn't he tried to come back and find these people? 
You get what I'm trying to say? You would think that he would just, or maybe he can't leave. So maybe that's an explanation. Maybe he just can't leave because I don't know where he is. I don't know where Jadis went with him. So maybe that's the situation. He just can't leave, right? So, so yeah. Um, so yeah, the time skip happened. Eugene and Rosita is in trouble, but it looks like they're going to get out. Um, and the other thing that um, happened at the end of the episode was walkers are talking. Walkers are talking, right? So they're evolving. That's weird. I guess if you if they stay alive long enough, they could actually. Um, I, I don't know if this is a different breed of walkers. I don't know what is going on, but all I know is. It seems like they're kind of probably going to take the direction back to, you know what I'm saying, the original threat, which is the walkers. So because there's really no faction that we're playing with that we they, they killed off the, the remaining saviors, it seems, with Carol taking them out. Um, so I like Judith. I like her character. So it, the, the young actress that they have playing her, She's doing an excellent job. I think she shined more than anybody else in 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 this ep in this um in episode six. I think she she really surprised me because they gave her a lot of lines. Um, you know, this is only like probably two years ago. So, um, so for her to be able for her to be that age and perform that well is very admirable you know what i'm saying like i've seen, don't get me wrong i've seen other young actress shine in movies and tv show and stuff like that but um especially the other two that um the one that carol had to kill back i don't remember what season but i think it was season four if i'm not mistaken um those two two um you know child actresses or if i don't know yeah they did a pretty good job back in the day too um but judith is she she shined she shined um so michonne seems like she's gonna take these people to the hilltop so i'm looking forward to see what's going to be the next step i'm looking forward to seeing maggie as an older person um you know and who's at the hilltop jesus all of them that's over there. I'm um, looking forward to to seeing them. They kind of concentrated everything around Alexandria. We got to see Negan. Um, of course, he's still in prison, but he seems to be doing better now. Um, I think Negan is going to become a better character. Not, he's not going to be a bad person anymore. I think eventually they're going to let him out. Um, you know, I don't think he's going to go back. I think. I think there's a place for redemption for him. And a lot of people might disagree with that. I know that Maggie don't want to see this man just walking around all willy-nilly. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I, I, I do think that he'll change. Maybe even because of Judith. You know what I mean? Um, so we'll see how things turn out for them kingdom seems like they're having a little bit of issue henry has grown up um so i don't mind i don't mind man i don't mind the time skip at all um put things in a in a better perspective in my opinion but in some ways too man you know what i'm saying these women looking juicy you know what i mean i'm not even gonna lie i'm over here simping like a mug <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know, I know I stand no chance with these women in real life. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind looking at them and wonder, you know. Keep the wonders. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I love my woman, okay? Love my woman. Love my woman. Love her to death. You know what I'm saying? So, this is just for entertainment purposes. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, leave a like on the video. I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you leave a comment. See you guys tomorrow for another two episodes of The Walking Dead. I'll see you guys later. Peace.